Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. Remember that time Donald Trump's top staffer stole IT equipment from the House of Representatives? When the same staffer who stole the equipment and then upcharged congressmen for replacement parts then profited off the fraud to the tune of $4 million in taxpayer money? Oh, no, wait. That was Democratic Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz's and the Democrats' IT aid, not Donald Trump's. Remember that time Donald Trump refused to fire the criminal staffer even though the Capitol Police banned the guy from the congressional computer network? Oh, no, wait. That was Democratic Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz who refused to fire the crook, not Donald Trump. All the while, by the way, the crook had access to the sensitive email accounts of high-ranking Democratic congressmen and the password to the iPad Wasserman Schultz used during the campaign when she was DNC chair. Remember that time Donald Trump obstructed justice by threatening a Capitol Police officer who was investigating the crime? Oh no, wait, that was Debbie Wasserman Schultz and the Democrats, not Donald Trump. Remember that time Donald Trump's IT aide committed bank fraud, extorted his own grandmother, roped his family into his criminal conspiracy, wired hundreds of thousands of dollars to Pakistan, and then tried to flee the United States before the FBI closed in to arrest him? Oh no, 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 wait. That was Democrats, I, Democrats' IT aide, not Donald Trump's. Remember that time Donald Trump's beloved staffer sent his wife fleeing to Pakistan with $14,000 of cash in her suitcase? That's not suspicious at all. Talk about corruption and collusion, family intrigue and conflict of interest, not to mention a foreign national and a foreign government. Oh no, wait, that wasn't Donald Trump's staff. That was the beloved staffer of former DNC chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz and the Democrats in Congress. Remember that time Donald Trump's associates were indicted for criminal wrongdoing, including financial misbehavior like bank fraud and false statements? Oh no, wait, that wasn't Donald Trump at all. That was the associate of Debbie Wasserman Schultz and the Democrats in Congress. None of Donald Trump's staffers, aides, or associates have ever been indicted despite all the ridiculous accusations and investigations. But make no mistake, we have evidence of a scandal of epic proportions involving a high-ranking congresswoman, congressional representatives who knew what was going on, a foreign national, criminal activity that led to access to classified emails from high-ranking congressmen, and obstruction of justice by an elected official. But none of the evidence points to Donald Trump or any of his associates. All the wrongdoing, all the proof, points directly to former DNC Chair Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Congressional Democrats. Funny how the mainstream media doesn't seem to care about that. And that's my final point tonight. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.